السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for letting us have this year's Ramadan Quiz Wiz 2024 We've seen these two teams play before We know they're both strong teams uh, The past nine Panthers went with full uh, got every single question right in their first game and the Toronto Bears they also showed uh, a lot of strengths uh, so I think uh, let's start it off All right, let's get it going Who do we want to start off with the Toronto uh, or the Palestine? I and think uh, I think uh, let's start with Toronto. Let's start with Toronto for this All match. right, let's do it. All right. So, computer, let's get the first question for Kashif and, and Ahmad. Ahmad. Yes. Yeah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent Adam al salam down to earth from paradise because a he was meant to be a Khalifa on earth. B Iblis made him eat a fruit and it was a punishment of his sin. C he had nothing to do in paradise. Or D he would live a better life on earth. A he was meant to be a Khalifa on earth. See the answer? That is the correct answer. Wonderful. Already off to a strong start. Great start. I think we should just keep moving. Yep. And the next question will be for Yahya and Maryam. How many springs gushed out when Musa salam struck a stone with his staff? Is it A, 8, B, 10, C, 12, or D, 14? The answer is C, 12. Let's see if it's right. And that is correct. I can already tell you right now that this is going to be a great matchup, uh, seeing both these teams come out. Uh, I'm very excited to see what happens. Uh, these look like two very strong teams. So uh, yeah. I think uh, let's move uh, to the Palestine Panthers. Yeah, they've already been pretty strong throughout yeah. so far. So uh, let's get into it, I guess. So. For the Palestine Panthers, the first question will be for Zainab and Maryam. All right, so computer, can we get the first question? According to Hadith, two women achieved perfection. Who were they? Is it A, Queen Elizabeth, B, Maryam bint Imran, C, Aisha bint Abu Bakr, or D, Asya, the wife of Fir'aun? It's B and D, Maryam bint Imran, and Asya, the wife of that is the correct answer. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Maryam bint Imran and the wife of Fir'aun. Yeah. Alrighty. So, the next question is going to be for Marwa and Eden. And uh, let's see, because they got some weight on their shoulders again for this round one. So, what did the children of Israel accuse Prophet Isa of? Select two. Is it A, being a illegitimate son? B, stealing from the poor? C, misguiding the people from obeying the king? Or D, lying to his family? A, being an illegitimate son, and C, misguiding the people from obeying the king. Okay, let's see the answer. And that is correct. Okay, these guys are moving quick, man, again. Yeah. Always ready, always ready to go, always prepared. Yeah. Okay, wow. So, I think uh, we got to move on to round two because these guys are neck to neck yeah. again. The individual questions. Yeah. This is the part where, like, this is the part where one team could win and one team could lose. The first round, usually we see uh, full points from both teams. This is where everything uh, gets, comes down to the line uh, and we see who can uh, come out on top. It's where things start getting a little bit more risky. Heated. Yeah, so... Who are we going to start off with here? Um, to be honest, it's up to you. All right, I think we started off with Toronto first, so we're going to go with uh, the Palestine Panthers next. Okay. All right, so four individual questions. The first one is going to be for you, Zainab. And computer, let's see the question. al muttaqin are those who are? Select three. A, patient. B, believe. C, brave. D, obedient. Or E, joyful? Um, it's A, patient, B, believe, and D, obedient. That's the correct that answer. Correct answer. <laughs> Wonderful. Already off to a great start. Yep. Okay. So uh, I think we just got to get on to the next one because yeah. I, got, I, got, I want to see how this ends, you know? <laughs> uh, the next question is going to be for Maryam. Let's see, computer. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, what is the Quranic term for the concept of lawful 
and prohibited foods? Is it A, halal and haram, B, zakah and sadaqah, C, iman and kufr, or D, tawbah and dua? The answer is A, halal and haram. Okay, quick. And the answer is correct. Very nice. I think uh, that that was a, a fairly easy question. I think uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala really is the most merciful because he was he uh, showed mercy on you right there. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's all random, so you could get an easy question or a harder question. So, uh, but we don't know. Maybe the next two questions are harder. But uh, let's move swiftly on to uh, Marwa. So, computer, can we get a question? In Surah Al Maidah, what is the Quranic term for the concept of making a declaration of faith and belief? Is it A. Shahada, B. Tawheed? C, Iman, or D, Zakat? Um, the answer is A, Shahada. Very quick. The correct answer. <laughs> this is a, this is a sharp point. team. You, you guys are very, very sharp. sharp team. They're going quick. Yeah. They're ready for the answer. They're ready. Like a snap. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, you got some weight on you again, man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if you got it this time. The question for Eden. Computer, let's see it. How long did the Mamluk rule Jerusalem? A. Mamluk has ruled two centuries, 200 years. B. They ruled for 2.5 centuries, 267 years. C. They ruled for three and a half centuries, 367 years. Or D. They ruled for exactly three centuries to 300 years. Um, B. Mamluk has ruled for 2.5 centuries, 267 years. Okay. And that is the correct answer. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't want to put any Nuzzer on the Palestine Panthers, but I think they're going for full points in the entire yeah. tournament. Yeah, they've been, they've been going at it pretty strong. Yeah. Okay, so now we got some uh, pressure building on the Toronto Takbirs, huh? Yeah, they got to go yeah. perfect again. That's what the Palestine Panthers do. They put the pressure on the other team, put them on the back foot, and make them have to go perfect to at least get one point. Yeah, they definitely put the work into getting all this knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so the Toronto Takbirs. Kashif, I'm going to put you on the spot here <laughs> for the first question. Let's see it, computer. Upon reciting chapter on Anam, it brings the abundance of A. Health, B. Wealth, C. Happiness, or D. Peace of mind. A. Health. Quick. That's correct answer. Nice. <laughs> These guys are bold, man. They're moving. They're moving. Quick and concise. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Let's see it. Ahmad. You ready? Yeah? yeah. All, All right. right, let's see the question. Who is the first Hafiz memorizer of the Quran? A. Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu an. B. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. C. Hazrat Ali radiallahu an. Or D. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu an. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Oh, he didn't even let me finish the question. <laughs> and that is the correct, correct answer. answer. Wonderful. They're answering okay. faster than we can even yeah, ask the bro, question. I, I, they don't even let me finish, you know? <laughs> okay, so now we got uh, three out of four right here. Let's see yeah. if they can get it. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, third question. Computer, let's see it. What does Zum mean in the Quran? Does it mean A, run, run, B, slow, slow, C, fast, fast, or D, stop, stop? B, snow, snow. Let's see. Unfortunately, that's the incorrect answer for the Toronto Tech Beers. You know, stop, stop. Uh, I, so what uh, the correct answer is stop, stop. And uh, we know that that word uh, is in relation to uh, Zum Zum, which is the, the gush, the spring that comes out, yes. uh, the holy water that uh, we drink. Um, it's just a little setback, you know, for the Toronto Tech Beers, but don't let it uh, stop you from, you know, continuing this competition. You obviously still have a a big chance of, of going all the way. Uh, but let's move on to the next question. Okay. So now we got the last question for Maryam. When was the Prophet asked to change the Qibla? In 622, he was asked to change the Qibla during prayer toward the Kaaba from Bayt al Muqaddis in 632, in 623, or in 522. The answer is A in 622. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Right, and it is. Wonderful. 
Okay, so I guess this would conclude yeah. their run. And uh, unfortunately for the Toronto Takbirs, they got one question wrong yeah. there at the end, the, yeah. thir the third question. So that would put the Palestine, Pan the Palestine Panthers two points ahead, yep. which makes them the, the winners. Winner. Of they're going to take three points home, which is a very valuable three points. Wonderful. Very valuable three points in this competition. Uh, you know, Toronto Takbirs, like, don't beat yourself. Don't beat yourself up about this. Uh, you only got one question wrong, and you showed a lot of knowledge, and uh, you would be a lot of teams with that showing. It's just uh, unfortunate that you came up against uh, one of the best teams, uh, a very strong team. But uh, the Palestine Panthers go home with three very important points um, to put them up on the leaderboard. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Wonderful, guys. Thank you so much for being here, and congratulations to the Palestine Panthers. And that concludes today's show. We will see you tomorrow. Yeah.